in St. George, Utah. Been traveling for the last two weeks. England was amazing. Italy was freaking the best place I've ever vacationed. So I always said, if I'm gonna live somewhere besides the US, it would be Australia. But if I'm gonna vacation, if I'm gonna go on an ideal vacation, Italy, 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 Positano, Capri, Sorrento, the pizza, the vibes, the views, the water, the Mediterranean, it was just, it was like a dream. So I highly recommend doing that. Now I get to try to burn off all of that pizza I ate. I did train sporadically when our hotels had gym. We do a lot of body weight circuit stuff if they didn't have, if I was in a spot that didn't have a gym. Um, did some hiking, some walking around. It's crazy though because in Italy the food is so, so pure, so great that I felt like I was full and I, did, I didn't eat a ton. So I don't think that, you know, I gained weight. If anything, I'm just a little bit softer with the same weight. I don't know, but I need to get back into it. Today on the fitness program, on the app, it's leg day. And the gym has just been equipped with brand new leg equipment stuff. So when I was gone, all our equipment arrived that we had ordered from Real Leader Fitness in China. It came over on a boat. We had some people set it up. It was a hell of a time setting it up. You guys actually saw the video where we received it. it took like two weeks to set up. It's now up and ready to go. So this will be my first workout in the gym since that. We got like a vertical leg press. We got all these fun things. So we're gonna go check that out. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back in, in St. George. Jet lag is kicking my trash but that will not stop us. We will get a great leg workout. So I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna warm up, do a little bit of foam rolling, do a little bit of, do a little bit of uh, mobility work, and then we're gonna jump into this workout. Let's do it. All right, so a little gym tour, because I'm so freaking excited about this. We got our cable crossover, because every gym, you need a cable crossover, preferably into the mirror, so you can scream and shout, and just as your chest, you're getting a good pump. Obviously, with the cable crossover comes the, seated row and then the lap pull down. We didn't have one of these in the gym and it was problematic. We also have this nice pad. You can attach a bar and do tricep extensions, all sorts of fun things. Next up, we have our leg extension. We kept our old leg extension um, and then we have new hip adductors and adductors. This is what you don't want to do on this machine. You don't want to make eye contact with someone as you're doing it. Creepy. So we have that, and then we have the opposite. So that is, that is abductor, this is adductor. No, adductor, abductor, I always get them take, think of it this way. If you kidnap someone, you're abducting them. So this is abducting. Um, standing, calf raise, hallelujah. No more calf raises on that thing over there. Calf raise machine, don't skip calf day, okay? Standing single leg hamstring curl. This one's gonna come in come in handy here. Oh, the hamstrings are actually still sore. Lying leg curl. Um, and then we have seated calf raise that's new, as well as, how many gyms have this? Your tibialis raise, boom. Tibialis, don't forget your tibialis, okay, guys? A lot of people, a lot of people forget to be Alice raises. To be Alice's get sad. Vertical leg press. Most gyms. I've only seen like two vertical leg presses in my life. And I've been to almost every gym in the world. It's a fact. New leg press because our other leg press was super duper wobbly. So we have this new leg press. It's like really nice. Half squat. Let's see this, we'll probably be doing this today. I haven't done this yet. I don't even know how to work this thing. Wait, it can't be right here. Am I facing the wrong direction, Paula? What? Am I facing the wrong direction? I think you can do either. Gosh. No. Oh my gosh, this is bad news. Oh no, I was, I was right before. <laughs> if you're facing this way, you should be back here. Oh yeah, that's nice. And then you just step on that to put it back. Let's pretend I knew how to work that machine. Nice. Wow, I used to lift. Lateral raise machine, love this one. I actually did this one yesterday. So this isn't exactly my first workout in this gym, it's my first leg workout. Got ourselves a preacher curl there. Should I just go up and spot him? 
Come on, man. What else do we have? Oh yeah, four-way multi-hip. So you're here. Oh, it's heavy. And then you can go here. And then you can do it on your other leg. So great one for hip health. We also got two new treadmills, one new elliptical. Let's go show you guys the stuff we're actually gonna be selling. Here's the stuff we're getting rid of. This free motion chest apparatus here. You're getting rid of this weird leg extension that you put your feet in here to cool me. Actually, it had a really good constant tension. Uh, this leg press we're getting rid of, because this was the wobbly one. So just know that if you guys want this one, it's a wobbly one. And then this one's actually probably my favorite. This is a good squat rack. This is a quality squat rack right here. If I had more room in my garage, in the new house, I would get it. And then lastly, actually, we have a bunch of rig stuff. So if anyone wants any of this, you guys can ask how much on this video. Just go ahead and ask, I'll respond to you, I promise. So these guys pretty much dogged me in England. I was in Birmingham, I came all the way to England, you guys didn't even say hi. So what, they, what did they do? The line was too long. <laughs> <laughs> they came all the way here to the States. What's your name? Kyle. Marcus. My, look at that, uh, that accent's like almost Scottish. You can <laughs> yeah, tell they're from the north of England. Yeah, yeah. Good guess too. Oh, so well, you guys yeah. signed the wall yet? Yeah. yeah. Where'd you sign it? Where did I sign it? Get creative, you gotta put where you're from too. Did you put England in the house? Yeah, yeah. We're running out of room, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh yeah, Mark's ba boom ba boom Where's yours? You gotta get where on that. Mine? I might just sign it again. If you guys come to the gym, you gotta put where you're from. I look up there and the first thing I look at is, oh, that person's from Ohio. And then it puts, like, it allows me to put like a face oh, yeah. with a name. Cause, so wait, where at in England are you guys from? Whitehaven, Cumbria. Cumbria? Cumbria. Cumbria. The I haven't even heard of that. The Lake District. Yeah. Shout out Lake District of England! <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Good bro time. Now we're warming up. Always important to warm up lower back, legs, glutes, doing some reverse lunge there. Um, front squats here, I've warmed up here. Box squats because I wanna see that depth. I wanna try to hit 90 degrees on here. I also just feel more secure doing front squats um, or back squats with a box underneath me. So I'll do box squats from time to time, especially if I'm just getting back into it like I have been now that I'm back in fitness culture from all of my travels. Then we got walking lunges here. 45 pounds on my back. Biggest thing here is I'm keeping that knee over my toe there. So I'm not letting it come too far forward or go too far back. We're going approximately 14 to 16 reps here. This gets nice and heavy. I love having that AstroTurf to do it on. Again, you see as I come up, I'm activating that glute there at the top. Touching the knee. No cheating here. This... This one is our, our glute ham raise. So the biggest thing you want to do here is not to crack the lower back. So you can see the lower back is straight with my hamstrings. And the way to keep that activated is your glutes. They have to be flexed. Pretend there's a $100 bill between your butt cheeks and you don't want anyone to steal it. So it's all hamstrings coming up all the way. You know, if you can get six to eight on here, you're doing, you're doing pretty good work. Biggest thing you want to realize with the glute hamstring raise Try to keep your butt, your, your, your hips should never crease. Should never be a bend. Keeping that butt firm and tight, it's where that glute activation comes in. You can actually feel it. You almost like start cramping there. That's how it should feel. Yeah. Now we got my favorite, the vertical leg press. Vertical leg press, really getting in glutes, obviously quads here. I love the vertical leg press as a kind of a substitute to a regular leg press supersetting it with a hamstring curl here and the, the biggest thing right there i move my hand and i get more of a vertical again trying to force my hips in there too too often we can bend over and i talk more about that but single leg hamstring curl allows you to really isolate each side so if you hit rewind on this you notice at the start of that set i move my hand from the grips down to the pad to kind of brace myself and that's because i want myself actually more upright most of these single leg single leg standing leg curls, or standing single leg curls, they have you kind of bent over. And what that does is it forces your butt back. I want my hips and back all in a straight line. 
actually pushing into that pad. No different than a line. Pushing into that pad, getting that maximal contraction in the hamstring. I couldn't explain that better myself. Uh, next up, we have the standing calf raise. Love having calf machines, calf machines in the gym. It's so nice. That's so nice. And now you can see the stretch here. Soleus, stretch that soleus all the way up. Work the gastrocnemius. Half second pause at the top and then back down. We have four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Super set, that's actually a tri set. With here we're doing abduction, adduction. I always get those two confused. ADD, adduction, because we're pushing in. This is working that inner groin muscles. And again, maybe don't make eye contact with other people while doing this, but it's the great exercise to do. You gotta strengthen your groin. I mean, and then obviously we have the counterpart to that. Yeah, I'll be the first to admit, I never did that machine. It's like a year ago, and it is so important. Like, I, I was one of those dudes, always had hip flexors and groin injuries in high school and college, because I didn't, I didn't do the four-way hip. I never did the abductor or adductor. And I thought it just was like, you know, you can't make eye contact, but you should be doing them. And the thing that I like doing is actually, I keep my butt out of the seat, because it gives me a better range of motion. If I'm down in the seat, it closes off the joint, I think in the hip, by standing up a little bit, I'm able to get more of a full range of motion in both of those movements. So next time, try lifting your butt off the seat about six inches and doing the exercise. You'll thank me later. This is what we call a TKE, and it's just kind of like a reverse leg extension. So we're actually, with our, with our hamstring and glute, forcing that, that band back, and it's a lot more glued at the end there. We're supersetting with a reverse hyper extension. So we've all done, you know, back extensions. This is pretty much just the opposite of that where our back stays stationary and we move our lower body. You're not gonna find this in a ton of gyms. That's why we love, that's why if you come to fitness culture, don't be afraid to do these exercises that you see on YouTube. And that is it for our leg workout. That is what we call a complete leg workout. We had our compound movements. We had our tiny little movements, our health, keep our joints healthy, hip joints. We had the, the groin work. All these things are designed not only to get you stronger, but to keep you, in, to keep you in the gym, to make sure you're not getting hurt. That's what I love about this program most. It's so nice that we have all this equipment in the gym now too. So one of the things that uh, getting, getting out of the country to a place like Italy, kind of like slowing down my mind, slowing down, just seeing how other people live and talking about like mental health. Kinda wanna put this out there because it's on my mind today. Take a look at all the decisions you're making in your life. Des you know, decision making, self-control, it's like a muscle. And there's things that we can do, just like we do, we work on our body to get it stronger. We gotta work on our mind to get things stronger. But think about all the crazy decisions. Like, there's something like 35,000 decisions you make during a day, just little ones. Speed limit, whether to cross it, slow down, what to wear, what to eat. Those are some of the biggest like decisions we waste time with. What am I gonna eat? You know, what am I gonna wear? And what happens is it wears you down, it wears you down to where at the end of the day, you do one of two things. You don't care anymore and you reach for whatever, or you are just more likely not to choose anything. So, you know, like you just, your, your self-control reserve kind of runs out. And that's when people eat bad. That's when people don't go to the gym. So set yourself up for success today by doing what's in most important at the beginning of your day. Because all those little decisions you make are going to play, you know, are going to start mount, mounting up. The other things you can do, really automate your life. Automate, you know, what you eat. Meal prep. If you meal prep, you have to make that decision once during the week. You're going to cook all of your food, what you're going to eat, and then boom, it's done. Now maybe leave some time on the weekends for whatever it is that you feel like. But meal prepping, um, the other thing is, and this is one I struggle with, I have so many clothes, I wanna minimize my life. I don't want as many decisions. Like, There's a reason Mark Zuckerberg, or Bill Gates, Barack Obama, they wore the same thing day in and day out because it, they didn't want to tap into that, that mental fatigue. They didn't want to have to make decisions on things that shouldn't be you know, things you have to think about. But they are things we think about in our day unless you just automate it. That's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably have my kids go to school and wear uniforms, like at a school, because it eliminates all that kind of mental fatigue. It leaves you for more brain power on other bigger decisions that truly matter. So this week for me, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna get in my foam rolling, my stretching, my workouts early in the day, and plan my meals. I challenge you guys to do that as well. Um, I'm gonna make a post onto the fitness culture programming 
Facebook group. There's a private Facebook group for that. If you guys want to check out more of this programming, we have the Power Program, which is doing crazy results, the Swole Program, the Lean Program, the Athlete Program, and then we have a three-day week program. So something for everyone. This place is crazy. We're hiring new people all the time, program developers, because we got a lot of big things in store. Um, hopefully some, some really cool things coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.